Hey guys, it's Layla. Welcome back to the channel, as you can tell from the title. Today I'm giving you guys a first impressions review of some products that I actually received. I'm a huge fan of them. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. It's been a hot minute since my last video, especially because I was really like on a sprint when it comes to being consistent. But of course, October came around and I've pretty much been very sick. Um, not very sick, but I've been sick. I've been, yeah, I've been, I've been sick. On top of a whole bunch of other stuff, this month is also a year since my dad passed away. So there's just been a lot happening with me um, emotionally, physically, apparently as well. But anywho, oh, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, please be sure to do that. I've shared a lot of my thoughts on like how the month has been going so far in my last, I would say like three posts. Today I will be using the Paris fabric, the hydration support. So there's actually two of them in the line. One is hydration support and then the other one is volume support. And these are cleansing creams. So, or cleansing conditioners, which means they're essentially a two-in-one product. I would have loved to take you guys actually in the shower with me for this first impression video. But I've also, on top of everything else, on top of all the suffering, I'm suffering. I've also sprained, um, I sprained my ankle a few days ago. So, I can't actually stand in the shower. I'll be sitting in the bathtub to wash my hair. Hey, future Layla here. I always find it so funny when people do that. Anyway, guys, basically, I wanted to jump straight into the first impression review. This is day two, and actually, in the video, I end up kind of going into, like, a few other things, a few other products that I wanted to share with you, um, and I just felt like I didn't want to wait till the end of all of that to put this, hence why I am interjecting. But this is the day after. So, yesterday, I washed my hair. I used this bad boy right here first and foremost i um i love i love i love the texture of this product actually before i go forward once again just just to emphasize the fact that this is a first impression review of the product i've only used it the one time which was yesterday but so far um first and foremost i really like the texture of the product I, I don't know what it is it's um it's really soft and it has like a real gelatinous kind of like feel to it but not too gelatinous where it's like lumpy it's really fluid but not runny i'm gonna insert like a little picture um a little video here because i actually did a reel um, and for the real, I kind of squeezed it out so you guys can see what it looks like. I do just want to once again apologise for not being able to actually take you in the shower with me uh, for this first impressions review. But, you know, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Okay, so that was that for texture. I really liked how it felt. And actually, as soon as it touched my hand, I had a feeling that it was going to glide into my hair really well, which is exactly what it did. I... Put it in my hand emulsified it went like that and literally as the product came into contact with my hair it just felt really nice like it was a real nice feeling i don't know it kind of reminds me of like okra or something do you know what i mean that kind of like slippery elm slippery slip 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 marshmallowy slip I know, I don't know, I hope that's making sense. But like I said, it felt really nice going on. I didn't have to use a lot for my whole head. It lathered really nicely. And um, one thing I noticed, just in case I forget when I get to that part, one thing I noticed is that, so it does say to leave the, once you use it, you leave the product in your hair for, I think it says like three minutes. In that three minutes, or probably longer, I detangled each section, like in four sections of my hair, I detangled with both my hands and a tool uh, and each time I got to a section it kind of it looked like the hair had absorbed the product so my hair just looked kind of like wet and shiny but you couldn't see any like foamy whiteness but the moment I kind of like retouched that area and just reworked it it just lathered back up again I didn't need to re like add any extra product to my hair um I really like that so I just wanted to say that y'all sorry my hair's itching. I, I I neither love nor hate it 
but I'm happy with it. Like, I'm happy with the smell. I'm happy to have something that almost is, is quite, like, neutral in smell, if that makes any sense. And whatever smell that it does actually have, it does not linger. So I couldn't smell it after the product was rinsed out of my hair or anything like that. So for those of you who are big on smells and scents like that, there was, there was nothing like that in this. I'm basically tripping over my words just because I want to say how much I really loved this product. I was pleasantly surprised so initially my plan was that because I hadn't washed my hair in two weeks and this is a um cleansing conditioner I'm not condition I said conditioning cleanser before but it says cleansing conditioner um, because this is a cleansing conditioner I figured that I would need to like shampoo my hair first just to give it like a good basis so that I could give it a um a fair review but when I got in the bathroom, I actually thought about it and I thought that a better review of this would actually to use it on like old, you know, like the old hair that I had to see if it actually did what it's supposed to do, which is to cleanse. So in terms of its ability to cleanse, this is what I would say it number one, it lathered really well. And number two, my hair felt clean afterwards surprisingly even though it's a cleansing conditioner and my thing usually with cleansing conditioners or um conditioning cleansers vice versa or you know like cream creamy conditioners anything that's more of a conditioning agent rather than a cleansing agent more on that side of things usually your hair feels like your hair feels, you can feel the conditioning agent on it. Does that make sense? You can feel like a coating, a coating of something on the hair once you finished using it. With this product, I did not find that. I will always jump at the opportunity to share something that I've used that I like. And I just wanted to know whether I would like this or not because as much as I'd seen it and considered it, I don't think that I would have gone ahead and purchased it because although I love their all their skincare brands, I just, to be real, didn't think that this was going to work on my black hair. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just didn't think it was going to work on black hair. Essentially, that's why I want to share because I'm sure that I'm not the only one who wouldn't have picked it up for that exact reason. So, yeah. Anyway, the hair felt really clean, as in... I. I felt like I'd used a shampoo. My hair was really cleansed. But, and, and, <laughs> but, and, even though it didn't have that, like, conditioner coating, the actual hair felt really nice. Like, I was trying to think of it before I started filming, like, the perfect word to describe what I mean. And it was kind of, the hair almost felt like cashmere, like a nice cashmere uh, jumper or something like a really expensive cashmere jumper so there was no actual coating on the hair but like the hair itself just felt really really good like really good to the point where I would have been happy to just follow it up with my styling stage but um two weeks ago I used some products that I was sent some bond treatment products that I was sent and I feel like it's made my hair excessively frizzy so I'm just trying to reintroduce moisture back into the hair again so I went ahead and did a moisture deep uh, deep treatment for like three minutes um following the use of this but I don't feel like I would have needed it had my hair been in a place that I would be happy with if that makes sense um it just felt really good and I just wanted to come here and say that I, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised so that that's the that's the position or the disposition that I'm currently in hence why I'm just a bit oh, um I'm, I'm just pleasantly surprised that something that although I figured does what it says on the bottle because um yeah you know Diacium, diacium. I keep saying diacium, but I know that's not it. It's not even spelt diacium. I'm sure it's diacium. Diacium is pronounced diacium or some whatever. They are basically a powerhouse, and all their brands are amazing. And I am, you know, I would 100% buy something for my skin from them. But for some reason, I don't know why. I, I just felt like this was giving me very much straight hair. 
you know what I mean? Like, this is for straight hair. Um, but I'm just really pleasantly surprised. I really, really like it. But yeah, guys, that's it. I just wanted to come. Those are like my thoughts while it's currently burning in me. This is what my wash and go looks like. This is what my hair feels so soft. Um, really, really soft. But you guys probably won't be able to tell what I'm talking about in terms of my hair being excessively frizzy from that product that I used. I'm actually going to put the product name in the description box and I would advise all naturals to stay away from it. It made, the way it made my hair feel, I was really disturbed to the to the point where the day after I rewashed my hair and did like a protein treatment because I was so worried about the state that my hair was in and it has improved but I would just basically say like, I don't usually do this. If I like I said, I get sent stuff all the time. There's stuff that I try. If I don't like it, I don't like it. If I like it to the point where I'm so excited, I'll come and share. But I would go as far as to say, like, avoid this product if you have natural hair. Um, I'm not saying everybody would react the same way, but why waste your money? Do you know what I mean? Like, save yourself some coins. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. I also wanted to do a quick more products products I've been liking update so I used for my last wash and go the Mayel Organics um honey and ginger styling gel I really really like this product um enough that I'm I'm here telling you guys about it I'm looking for a cheaper alternative to my uncle Funky's daughter I don't intend to not use that product I will continue to buy that product but it's a very expensive product so I don't want to have to use it every week for every wash and go the that bottle that I have cost me like 50 quid that's a lot of money um, and this is a much cheaper alternative and it also uses this like you know goodness the, the ingredients are still good nice and clean um, I really liked how it held up in my hair. I topped it up with my Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink, as usual. I did exactly what I would have done with my Uncle Funky's, and I really like how it held up. Even though it's been like two weeks, um, I've worn my hair in puffs, I've worn it in buns, I've stretched it, I've done so much to it. And a lot of the curls have still held up, especially in the back where the hair is short, so it doesn't really stretch because I've got my the bob cut. The back of my hair is the shortest and the length is at the front or on top. Um, and where the length is, this is also where my pattern isn't as tightly like curled or coiled, so I always lose it there the, the quickest. Anyway, long story short, basically, I'm trying to tell you that if somebody is, if you're looking, if you're out there searching, I would say try this. I really liked it. Um, in addition to that, I also picked up the Wet Line Extreme Gel in the really big one. I ordered this from the US. This is 2.2 kg. Um, and this is my head. This is the gel. It's absolutely massive. I ordered it from um, Amazon.com, which is Amazon US. And it was actually £25 to have it shipped here, including duties and taxes. Whereas a much smaller tub here would have cost me the same amount of money. So it just made sense for me to import it. And I know you guys in the States are probably thinking, like, what the hell? Because I'm, I'm sure it's like $2 over there. But here it's so expensive, it's ridiculously expensive. It's even more expensive than the Uncle Funkies. But so many of you have asked me to try it, so I have picked it up and I will do a video on it, probably on my next wash day, God willing, next week. But yeah, stay tuned, I'll be back. 